Good evening. I was asked to look at um, this video by Robert Breaker doing faithful on every dispensation about 25 in 25 minutes in just put a video up dealing with his exposition of Romans 4 showing he can't read the word now now is a log logical argument not dealing with dispensational change so here's here's a typical uh, Buckman arguments the lies that these guys have to tell so I think that he said I just wanted to know what it said uh, someone with the verse says doesn't mean what it, that's what it means. See what these guys do? Because you have to use context. You got to use compare scripture with scripture. The guy's lying right to your face with a big smile on his face here, lying right to you. Well, it says here in James, he got imputed righteous when he believed, but he was justified by his works. And Paul says he wasn't justified by his works. So what are you going to do with Paul? Paul says he wasn't justified by his works, well if he had to boast. So what are you going to do with Paul? Don't tell me what you think that means. Some people say... Don't tell what they think it means? When Paul is saying he wasn't justified by works, well if he had to boast? Let's just ignore context and ignore contradiction. Well, it... it what it means is, is his works prove that he had faith. Oh, oh, okay, so he did have works? Hold on, say that again. His faith, they say, well, I, I believe his faith, his works proved his faith. Okay, but he had works, right? Yeah, he had works. That's maturity. He had works, he has a big grin on his face. He had works. Which meant he had maturity. That showed his maturity, he was tested. And do the salvation, though. So you just undid your entire argument. You no, he didn't, idiot. His works show his faith. We need not do anything. This is the type of idiotic thinking you get from these morons. Just said it was faith that works. Faith and works, works showing their faith. Just like a Christian grows by bearing fruit into maturity. Abraham showed his faith by what he did. He was a saved man. Had nothing to do with his salvation. Paul says he wasn't justified by works. See, they never deal with the contradiction. What do you think the problem was? What do you think the problem was with, with, with Paul and James? To everybody. Because one is saying something, he wasn't justified by works, and the other one saying he was justified by works. He's just ignoring the problem. Let's ignore what Paul says. He's, he's ignoring what Paul said. No, 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 no. You said he had works. Yeah, I did say he had works. That showed his faith, his maturity. And that part of his salvation. It wasn't faith alone. Was because it? Paul says his, his salvation didn't come from his works. Paul said his, his salvation didn't come from his works. You indoctrinated nut. It's, we can argue about this, but I'm not going to argue. You're not going to argue because you're involved in a cult. So that's what it is. See, that's what it is. He's, he's ignoring the contradiction. He's ignoring the problem. And then he says, we had works. He had works. Yeah, we know he had works. But he couldn't, have, he couldn't have the works part of his salvation. Because Paul says you can't have works part of your salvation. And they just ignore that. We're just going by what it says. Yeah, we're both saying something appears that can be contradictory. They just ignore it. He never tells you the fact that Paul is saying, and he dealt with the other video, he said, Luther had the big problem was, Luther, because one appears to be contradicting the other. Heretics, liars, and frauds. So I'll stop, put this up, I got another video going up, and I want to get this up real quickly. These guys can't read, they can't think. They're phonies. He had works, yeah, he had works. But Paul says he can't be saved by works. So that means you got a problem. What did the work show? His faith, his faith, his maturity. So the justification there is being before men. Just like the Lord Jesus Christ was justified in the Spirit, did that deal with his salvation? No. So let's stop with this up. Amen. Thank you.